This is Angelus TV, God's voice that brings hope to the nations. Praise the Lord and thank you so very much for tuning in once again. This is a new day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, as the scripture says, and be glad in it. So at this moment, I want us to continue with our series, The Power and Authority of the Believer. The more we teach this teaching, the more we understand. And there are so many things that believers need to really grow in. I mean, there are things that we ought to be doing and having had we stepped out into the authority that God has given each one of us. There are so many things that people are spending many hours of prayer that, need, do not, that actually do not require prayer, that they, but they just require us to stand firm and, and stand our ground and declare things and they will be done because we are exercising our authority. Um, in Romans chapter 1 and verse 20, and I'm going to read, the scripture says, For his invisible attributes, namely his eternal power and divine nature, have been clearly perceived ever since the creation of the world in the things that have been made, so they are without excuse. Now here, the Apostle Paul is talking about why, uh, why all human beings have no excuse as to why they should not believe in God. Because the creation displays the power of a supernatural being that was able to make mountains and valleys and rivers, seas and oceans. These things did not just come. The human being, the complexity of a human being, the, the creatures that we see, the big mammals and the smallest minute um, creatures, all these things display the wisdom and the power of God. So none of us can claim that they have not seen enough evidence of the presence and of the glory of God. God is glory and God's presence is manifested everywhere in the creation. And so it's very important for, for us as human beings to understand this power of God and connect to this power of God and walk in this power of God, which is readily available to as many as are willing to receive it and walk in it. I'll repeat the scripture. For his invinc invisible attributes, namely his eternal power and divine nature, the eternal power, power of God, his divine nature, have been clearly perceived ever since the creation of the world. In the things that have been made, so they are without excuse. So a human being has got no excuse. We, we have absolutely no excuse as to why we should not believe in God. Because his power is everywhere. And even his power is in you. L look at, for example, even this camera that is recording this broadcast. This is the, the power that God has invested in a human being that a human being can create such a thing that can capture the voice and the, 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 the visuals and everything. This is, this is excellent demonstration of the power of God. So none of us can deny the presence of God and the existence of God because his power is displayed everywhere. And that power of God is resident in you. And why is that power resident in you? Because of your origin. When I say your origin, what does it mean? I'm not talking about the origin of your father. I'm talking about your own origin, your father's origin, your mother's origin. All of us, both our parents and ourselves, originate from God. Because God says in, in Genesis chapter 1 and verse 6, let us now create man 
in our own image and after our own likeness. So the, my origin and your origin is in the image and likeness of God. And because God has power in him, there are attributes of power in God and eternity in God. Those attributes are also in you. So power was in you from creation. And that is why after he had created you, he gave you power power over all creation. What did he say? Let this man have dominion over all creation, over the birds of the air and over the animals that go through, move in the waters, in the seas. And then he says over everything that is on earth, the crops and the animals that walk the earth. All these things, all this is the territory of a human being. Your power is to be exercised in the heavenlies. Your power is supposed to be exercised on earth and in the water. So you have power. That is, that is your origin. You are created. What does it really mean when God says, in my own image and in my own likeness? It means you are capable of doing things the way he did. The divine power that is in God is resident in you. By the way, the scripture tells you that Jesus lives in you and that, that your body is the temple of the living God. So the power of the God of the entire universe abides in you. That power is resident on your inside. That power is working on your inside. And that power is able to enable you to do extraordinary miracles. So I just want you to understand that, beloved, that the power of God is in you. The divine nature is in you. The, the, and, and that power, it, you know, to manifest and demonstrate the power of God is our nature. That is how we should be doing everything because that is what we were created to be. That is who we are. We are those that manifest and demonstrate the power of God on planet Earth. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We give you all the praise and all the glory for this day. We worship you and we honor you because you love us with an everlasting love. And we thank you that your power is forever displayed on earth. And Lord, this power is also resident in us. And we walk in this power and we fulfill the destiny that you have for us. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for watching this broadcast. For more of such uplifting Christian content, please click subscribe. Click the notification bell to become the first to know when we upload another broadcast. Thank you and God bless you.